So we are very close to get the final Android or very soon. So hopefully it should be coming first to the Pixel devices followed by the Google Nexus that is Nexus 6P and the 5X. So I made a lot of videos talk to you guys about the launches, the icon packs and all the cool stuff we have done. But uh, in case you guys are not aware among the many all those features, there is a very important feature which is called as uh, adaptive icons on the Android O. Now uh, this is very important because you know uh, if you just unlock your phone this is the home screen you're going to see and the icons. So icons play a very important role in making your phone customized in the way you want it to. Now if you don't know about the adaptive icons, so adaptive icons are set of feature which Android O brings which means that a single applications may have different set of icons on different different devices. The icon for example Facebook you're going to see on the Google Pixel phone may not be looking exactly same on the Google Nexus phones, may not be looking same on the Galaxy, may not be looking same on the LG devices or whatever manufacture. Now I'm going to show you guys here a quick demo here. So this is uh, Pixel XL and this is Nexus XP. Both are running the same version of the Android O. As of now, they are on the Debris 4. And I have ported the same launcher that is running on the Pixel XL to this Nexus 6P just for the sake of demo. I'm not making video about that because it's kind of very tedious process. So anyway guys, I'm just going inside. So if we just take a look on the setting icons, right here you can see. So this setting icons on the Pixel XL is rounded and on the Nexus 6P it is the square. The reason being is that the Pixel XL Android OS tends to create rounded icons that's why it is rounded and for the Nexus 6P it is followed by the Google Launcher Traditions which is being square. That's why you can see the icons are a little bit square here. So the same you can see for all applications whatever it created. So now I'm going to show you guys a new application using that you can get the similar effect of the Android OS adaptive icons that means it is not an icon pack it is an application using that you can customize any of the icons that you want whatever shape you wanted to have that so guys let's get started the application we are talking about is called as an adaptive icon so it is just named exactly the same as an adaptive icons combining that now before we start i'm going to show you guys a quick demo here so if i just go to this page you can see i have created five set of the default setting icons and this is running the default stock launcher the one plus five and this application is going to work on all the applications all the launches that means you know uh, you just have to create a shortcut it's not going to replace your internal uh, application icons instead it just create a different shortcut as, as you can see this is a faded uh, square now this is uh, just exactly square like we have seen on the nexus 6p this is a rounded pixel this is the default stock one and i just created a background color you can add any color you want and as you can see for the twitter i've taken white background instead of that and this is rounded default stock this is square sorry this is a uh, default stock this is rounded this is a different background color and i just rotated the mask you can see now it is a quite a different icon i guess you have not seen such diamond looking icon and this is what you can see i created a black twitter bird inside that so let's open our application so this is application so it is a free application but in case you buy it for the one dollar you can get a lot of set of features so it shows all the applications that are installed here and whichever icon you wanted to change you just have to go there i'm just going to take twitter there okay let's say youtube so this is the default stock and on the free version you have the four options you can create square rounded and this uh, rounded square and the round so let's take rounded square you can see it immediately changes the side here look at the edges if i could just go and change that's how i do so once you have selected you can have further options you can control the side of the inside application how much you want all right and you can just adjust the icons here and there and you can just click on the rotation in case you wanted to have it like i did for the twitter and you can just select the background color in case you don't like the red one you want to have a uh, maybe a black and red so that looks pretty cool as you can see you can change it and along with that you can adjust this uh, in case the stock launcher doesn't support changing the uh, icon label you can change it from here all right this is a, again new feature you can change something else or you can import all so this is what you can see there and this is the complete icon side now if i just create and save this is going to create a new shortcut for that you can see so this is our new youtube icon that we have just now created something smaller inside black and red so you can create anything else in case you wanted to just create around it or create a square just click on save it's going to give you guys a new shortcut here as you can see 
So whatever application is your favorite, you can just create any set of icons that you can want it to. So guys, there you have it. This is your Android or Adaptive icon that you can create a similar effect. So just don't get confused with the Adaptive icon. There's nothing 3D. Each manufacturer has a different set of features. This is internal OS feature that you guys can use it. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed this small tip. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you very soon. Have a great day.